Stealthing. This is my first time hearing, and I, well, not really my first time, but I never really paid attention to stealthing. <laughs> what until, is stealthing? Uh, apparently, so I've never heard the word before. I'll there be was <laughs> th we saw a news that was super interesting. Somebody in the Netherlands yeah. was having consented consensual, consensual. Uh, sex, yes, right. But he was convicted because during sex he removed his condom. Yes. That wasn't consensual as per the girl. So pretty much they <laughs> agreed to have sex together, so it was consensual. But him taking off the condom, he took it off without her permission or without her consent. And he's going to jail. And he's getting locked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's interesting, and that's a very good point, because she consented to having protected sex you know? with him. So we've been debating that. We've been talking about that. Like, you know, is, is that crazy? Like, is that fair on the guy? You know, like, should he be I, convicted I think it makes for sense. It? But I think it makes sense I think after it makes a sense. while, yeah. after talking about it because more. She, because she, she's not going into that wanting to get pregnant. She could right, get pregnant. Now. Right. And that's why we or say get keep sex within the you know confinement of marriage. Because... Just so because no, no, okay, so she would have she's afraid of, of they disease they weren't possibility. married right? no, I, I don't know I don't know afraid of disease possibility yes the possibility um, of getting pregnant, pregnant I think they did know? say she that's how they found out or something I think something oh. happened as to how they knew he took it off without her permission oh my because I think she either got pregnant or she oh got a disease goodness. something, oh something happened no bueno no bueno but yeah <laughs> blessings <laughs> and love it is always a great day here at Refuge and Fortress my name is Emmanuel O and I'm Lani O and and this is Philia. All right. So last week we started our series on roommate to romance. Yes, yes. So pretty much couples that are in a romantic relationship, but somewhere along the line, their romantic relationship went stale. Mm -hmm. So now they've it gone from a, a romance relationship to, to a roommate, roommate relationship. relationship. So now we're trying to flip it back, mm -hmm. right? We're trying to help you out. We're trying to take it from a, rom a roommate relationship back to the romance relationship. Because in the beginning, it was not so. It wasn't it was, so. The Bible exactly. says in the beginning, it was not so, right? So <laughs> That's so. exactly what the Bible says. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> so you know? basically last week, we mm. talked about how you can identify if you identify if you're in one. Yes. Because a lot of people don't know yes. sometimes. Yes. They get so into the world, into their mm -hmm. everyday life yep. that they don't realize that their relationship is lacking or has gone stale. Mm -hmm. And as someone what turned into a roommate, a ro a roommate relationship, relationship exactly yeah. you know so some of the things we talked about is how you identify is if you're living separate lives mm. from each other mm -hmm. so you kind of just come in go about your day mm -hmm. you know there's nothing that's really combined mm -hmm. we talked about if it's all about you 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 mm -hmm. rather than us us mm -hmm. us you know the two shall become one yep. it's we and everything mm -hmm. you know and, i mean and really just looking at if you've ever been in a roommate situation like mm. I have, you know, that's how you know sometimes, right? Yeah. Whereas, like, I've lived with people that are not, that we didn't have any relationship together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know what kind of relationship, uh, we didn't have any romantic relationship, relationship right? Yeah. And I know what kind of relationship that looks like. Yeah. The moment your marriage is already looking like, like a that. roommate situation, yeah. then we got to start being careful. Yeah. And then we brought in the covenant and the um, um, contract. contract kind of a marriage yes. where and if you saw that you're leaning more towards the contract area of things you got to start watching now because yes. your marriage is ought to be a covenantal relationship, relationship yes. all right so now today give me one <coughs> yeah, <okay>. so today <laughs> we're talking about what, what causes yes. a relationship to go from romantic to roommates yes what are the causes and mm -hmm. how do you know because like you rightfully said a lot of times people don't know that their it's relationship life. has gone into yeah. has tipped over into tilted over into a roommate relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's just because life happens and yeah. stuff like that so the first thing that i want to say is this right we have to understand that every relationship is a journey absolutely right yeah every relationship meaning it starts somewhere and it progresses yeah right mm -hmm. it progresses it progresses and it continues to progress mm -hmm. every mutually beneficial relationship is a journey yeah that's number one number two nothing works 
unless you, make you work, it work it. Yes. Nothing works unless you make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, if we are intentional mm. about our relationship. I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, look, relationship, you want a relationship with me? That's beautiful. I want a relationship with you too, right? And this is not even a romantic relationship, by mm -hmm. the way. This is just, you know, um, two... Philia. Two, you know, well, yeah, Philia, <laughs> but what I'm, I'm even talking about, just two friends right, that are talking, two friends. right? And we're like, look, if you want this relationship, we got to, first of all, desire the relationship. That's yes. number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, let's define the relationship. What is the extent of this relationship? What are we doing? Like, what is this, right? Yeah. Give it a definition, right? And then, once we have a definition, let's develop that relationship yeah. let's develop meaning let's put in the work put in the work and that's get, intentional and that's being intentional yes. right so in the journey of every relationship though something happens yeah along the way the zeal life happens. goes down <laughs> the enthusiasm that you yeah. had in the beginning passion it reduces mm -hmm. excitement in fact there's a level of um of complacency i would say mm. where it's like oh you know yeah, you know, we're it's ready. You, it's, me. it's you. We're there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I don't need to try anymore. You know, <laughs> in a way, we're even taking each other for granted now because it's already you're already my buddy, you're already my girlfriend, you're already my wife, you're already my <laughs> husband. Where you going? You know. So you start to kind of take each other yeah. for granted. The things you weren't doing before in the beginning, you start to think those things are mm. okay, mm. and that's where the problem really starts. Start. So now we want to talk about about five to six causes there are multiple things that causes relationship to go from a romantic relationship to a, to a roommate, roommate relationship, relationship. but yeah. for this purpose for today's episode yeah we're only going to try to attempt to deal with about five to six of them so that if you see those things in your marriage you're able you, to you're able to start working towards and it. work on it and i want to also be clear on this it's not just for marriage folks only yes because if you're in a relationship and you're working towards marriage and you're already seeing signs of these things in your relationship, mm. you haven't even gotten to marriage yet, mm. but you're already seeing the signs. You're seeing of it. the signs already. Address it now. Yeah. Don't wait till address marriage. Address it now. Address and it. if it can't be addressed, run. <laughs> I'm sorry. Run. Yeah. So number one, this number one cause that takes a relationship from romance to roommates yes. is failure to work and to tend mm. the relationship mm. failure to tend and, and to, to work yes. and i give you an example a house that you leave without cleaning it without taking care yeah. of it yeah. it's gonna be dusty by the time you come back you know what i mean <laughs> even if you don't even if, if you, you stay don't there, leave, you there even if you leave it's not by the time you come back, even That's if you true. leave in that house you don't even have to be out of you don't house. clean your toilet you don't clean your oh, television yeah. sets you don't oh, clean yeah. your kitchen it's all dust gonna be dusty table. and moldy yeah. and it's gonna be unhealthy yeah because you didn't tend it you didn't keep it that's right in the same breath that's how relationship work mm. when god created adam he put him in the garden of eden yeah and yeah, he yeah. said tend, tend and keep keep mm. amen in order for this thing to yield the yes. results that we're looking for yes. we must tend and keep mm. what god has given us or what we are trying to build and develop in our relationship yeah right so okay so i guess my question now mm. is is it possible to be tending mm -hmm. and keeping mm -hmm. and still the relationship goes still? You know, you're putting in the work, mm -hmm. you know, you're you're tending and you're keeping, you're making the effort, you've mm -hmm. been intentional mm -hmm. in a way, but yet the relationship still goes from romance to roommate. Mm -hmm. Somehow you still find yourself there. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? It's not possible. And the reason why I'm saying it's not possible is because we have to understand the difference between tending and working and keeping, right? Okay. Because... For example, think about it like this. A gardener who comes to your house. Like, we have a lawn, right? And our lawn, our lawn guy, he comes to the house and about um, twice a weeks, month, right? Yeah. Every two weeks or so. It, it does what it got to do, right? It come in, brr, 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 done. We pay him, he goes, right? And it comes every two weeks like that. Yeah. And it does a job, right? It does a job to keep the lawn at a specific level. Mm -hmm. If the lawn is dying, Coco, it doesn't concern him. <laughs> it's, if it's at the level that is at, it's that's right. all his job is. Now, okay. if I go outside and I see that my lawn is brown instead of green, 
it's not looking healthy mm. i have to do the extra work of getting the right chemical the right ingredient the mm. right stuff to spray on my grass mm. so that they're looking the way they're supposed to be looking okay right if we had a flower garden i have to go there myself and take out the the things that i didn't want that i don't want in that garden to okay. ensure that they're, so if i'm doing all those things if my work is intentional and purposeful mm. for the sake of maintaining my relationship, it won't go my still. romantic relationship, there's no way it would go still. But then also the tending and the keeping has to come from both parties. Absolutely. So it is possible to still go still if, if it's, it's only one, one person, person. Mm -hmm. tending and keeping. Yeah, yeah, because the other person would get if, tired. Yeah, you know, you mm -hmm. get tired at some point. It's like I'm the only one cleaning the house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and no as help. I'm cleaning You're it, not getting help from the you other messing person. it up. As I'm cleaning yeah. it, you messing it yeah. up. You know, it, it doesn't work. So it's Absolutely. possible. So now, I guess my, my next question is, is there a guideline mm -hmm. or some kind of foundation mm -hmm. on how to keep and tend to that garden, to that relationship? Like For example, let mm -hmm. me give an example. So like using the same example of the houses, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So maybe cleaning the house twice a month, every two weeks mm -hmm. or every Saturday rather than once a month. Mm -hmm. You know, would mm -hmm. that keep it less dirty? Mm -hmm. You know, is there like a foundation or guideline when it comes to relationship yeah. that we can say, okay, maybe... Well, we could use. yes. So there, 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 there are guidelines, but they will be different for every home, every right. couple. Okay. And I say that because you know we're professionals, right? Uh, like outside of ministry, we, we're professionals in the um, consulting world, right? And when we're working with our clients, right, there are state regulations, state guidelines that has been put in place for all companies, right? But every company has a choice to take that guideline and kind of modify those guidelines to as match. it applies to their right. company. Okay. So there are general guidelines that will be available or that should be ap applicable to every marriage or every relationship. Yeah. Okay. But you still have to look inward and look at your marriage and your relationships. Okay. okay. For us, what works? For example, if going out on a date is your thing, then do that. If going out on vacation is your thing, then do that. Okay. If going out, if staying home and just watching TV or going to the movies is enough for you, then do that. So you just do something. You create your own matrix. You understand? So you, you create, create your own standard exactly. on you what works your for your own relationship. On what works for both of you as couples, okay. as husband and wife, and say, I like it when you buy me flowers. Awesome. I get your flowers, right? And yeah. just being intentional and communicating and then evaluating each other we 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 had this problem we said okay we need to fix it and i asked you teach me how to fix it yeah and you told me what i need to do you asked me i should tell you i told you what you need to do and to they satisfy me putting in the work and we're both putting in the work it. and as we're putting in the work we're coming back to check on that work mm. how am i doing on a scale of one to ten evaluation am i am i, am I getting it right yeah. and you're like yeah you try doing good <laughs> and it makes me happy because i'm like okay i see that you my see effort, me right my efforts is being uh, uh, acknowledged yeah and i want to do more because i see that it actually kind of makes you happy and yeah. i care about you and, and I the love relationship you. is and the relationship better is better for right. it right so okay. we got to be intentional the second cause or another cause mm -hmm. um that could lead a, rela a romantic relationship into a romantic into a roommate relationship mm -hmm. is um if something happened mm. that caused one to not care Mm. or to not try anymore mm -hmm. so we're Elaborate. talking about cheating for mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. so something like that could cause a relationship to go from romance to roommate mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. somebody gave up basically mm -hmm. it could we could talk about traumatic experiences from, from the, the yeah. from their past um yeah. life mm -hmm. you could talk about maybe bad habits that mm -hmm. it's just has been going on for way too long mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be so something happened along the way yeah. that caused one person or both parties yeah. to stop trying yeah. or to stop caring yeah. so that could definitely push a romantic relationship yeah. into a roommate relationship absolutely and you see that all the time you know um we know of a couple um back in in, in new york um well no i'm thinking about somebody else but uh, the example that i was going to give was a, a, a man cheats on his wife women are more easy to forgive they forgive easily right right so she forgives and she says you know what if you promise you're never gonna do it again i'll forgive you we'll move on with our lives right mm -hmm. or so she thought right she thought right. she had it in her to really forgive right? right but then she kept holding on to it and then 
it wasn't until when she felt like you know what and then so because she was holding on to that hurt and that pain despite the fact that she's forgiving this man whenever he would try to touch her she was like more like mm, don't touch me kind right. of thing right mm -hmm. and then she started getting attention from work with another guy mm. and it went on to them talking going out on a date and stuff like that work lunch right mm. until it became she started having feelings for this guy and they they got together they had sex wow. right after the sex she realized she doesn't want the guy anymore she wants to go back home she wants her husband ha. right so now she went back home and she she confessed she said hey he happened you know and now he's in a position to forgive right mm -hmm. so they both forgive each other but it's a dent in their relationship yes. in their marriage yes. no matter what they're always <laughs> going to think about it. the man is always going to say what does he have that i don't have <laughs> She's going to say, what does she have that I don't have? Right. Whatever the case may be, it's left something, it's left a bad taste in yes. your mouth. And you kind of almost sometimes could get to the point where it's like, even though you're trying, you're not really, really, really trying. Mm -hmm. And after a while, you just kind of start leaving things ha as it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and before you know it, you're passing each other in the house. You're not even saying, not even saying a word you're to each other. Word. <laughs> you know, before you know it, it's like, just, did you do this? Did you, okay, cool. And it's just go. Because at that point in time, there's there's like a, um, what do you call it? A drift mm. in the relationship. Mm. You want to make it work, so you're still together. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not there anymore. Anymore. So, yeah. yeah. You know, so that could cause it. And then sometimes, you know, it could be, like you said, past, past. experiences, yes. just traumatic stuff. And that's why I was saying, this is not only for married people. Yes. If you're in a relationship right now and you're seeing the signs, signs like the this, signs, somebody's the still flag, holding on to a hurt flags. from the past. Yeah. And it's causing them not to be as romantic as they should be. Yeah. Oh, Benny, you better run. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't go with the mindset that it is something we can work on mm. later down the mm -hmm. line. Later no. down the line no. is not a time to work on Let me just things. say this. Work on it now. Let me say this right now. Marriage does not change anything. No. It only enhances, enhances what you're doing right now yes. in your relationship. It yes. takes it to a whole new level. Yes. If the if the man if if you guys are good to each other right now, y'all gonna be way better, better to, to each other. other. If you guys are toxic, uh, toxic right now, <laughs> it's gonna be wait more till you get married. Toxic. You know, so don't, <laughs> more don't toxic. so don't, the mentality don't of going into no, marriage no, thinking no, 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 it no. fixes something no. is so wrong. No. Anyways, number three, the third uh, cause, cause of relationship going from a romantic relationship, yeah, to, to a, a roommate room. relationship, in it, yeah, is that? When did you some British? <laughs> is that there was. No romance in the first place. Mm. It was mm. never there. Let me say this. What you don't expect, mm. you can't experience. Mm. Hello? Mm. What you don't expect, Forget you about cannot it. experience. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. there was no romance in the first place, yeah. don't come to the middle of the thing and come and say, oh, it's here, we're romantic. Yeah, not romantic. Oh. <laughs> the <Not> question today. <laughs> is that... <laughs> <laughs> they were romantic in the life. Was that romantic was before? Was that romantic before? <laughs> you just woke up. Exactly. Oh, JG. Did you not know? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not a romantic. Some guys, some and men, we men, 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 men. men, men this men, one is on also. Men, men, we men. We will men, be men. the one to even tell you. You know, you know, you know, I ain't romantic, man. You, I'm, I don't have no romantic bone. In I ain't never opened the door I, for you before. Why would I open it now? Yeah. <laughs> Why would I start today? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Sh sh chivalry is dead. Chivalry is dead. <laughs> Go, money. You know, so so if there was never romance in the first right. place, right, then don't expect your romantic relationship to yeah. stay romantic. It will become roommate's relationship yeah. where you guys are just running through the motion just to keep afloat. Yes. That's number one um, possibility in the aspect of no romance in the first place. Okay, so now I have a question to mm -hmm. that. So what if... That was the plan. Mm -hmm. What if the plan was to have a partnership? Yeah. Rather than yeah. A romantic. To fulfill all righteousness, yes. right? You know, you want to just say, I did it. Mm. I've done it. I'm not sinning or whatever the case may be. Yeah. You fulfilled all righteousness. This is the plan. We're supposed to be. We, we said we're getting married for that purpose. Yeah. There was never, never going to be a romantic anything before. And, and it works for them. 
Yeah, so so there's an understanding now. Okay. So there's an understanding on ground. Look, at the end of the day, relationship is all about communication. And their dynamics. And dynamics, yeah. trust, and understanding, right? Relationship, at the end of the day, is all about um, your dealings, your consistent dealings mm. with someone. Okay. Or a group of people. people. Or something. Consistent dealing. If I always go to Cheesecake Factory, for example, <laughs> every weekend, <laughs> I have a relationship with Cheesecake Factory because I'm always going there every, every weekend, weekend, right? right. So if you're consistent, that's my dealings with Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory. Mm. You know, so your consistent dealing with things or mm-hmm. someone or a group of people is what creates that relationship that we're talking about. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So if there's an understanding in the beginning, now look, this and thing is no just confusion. a partnership. Of, then we don't then, have any You know, but again, that is one of the causes of it. Yeah. Don't expect to go from something that wasn't there before to now having it. And, and you know, sometimes women are, are guilty of this, right? We go into a relationship. Sometimes we even go as far as marriage right. with an understanding. Yeah, yeah. And then get I'll the marry new, you, but you sleep in your own room. I sleep in my own room. On air. And then, the flight, though. Exactly. <laughs> We're not getting in the middle of and it. Like, and then the woman starts to have feelings. And she's like, but I want more. Uh, but I need no, more. That's not what we agreed on. Uh, Hello. You know? I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> you know? Okay. So then another cause that could get a relationship from a romantic relationship to a roommate, roommate relationship, relationship is not having <sighs> the kingdom purpose or not understanding the kingdom purpose of, of marriage, marriage. Yes. in the first place mm-hmm. but getting into it exactly and, and this goes back to right week, this yeah. goes back to what we talked about last week mm-hmm. understanding how deep mm-hmm. it is blood I mean, we talked about sucking each other's blood hey. last week hey. <laughs> it was intense <laughs> for a minute i had to rethink the whole <laughs> thing like wait a minute <laughs> Go Find back and, that video go back and somewhere watch it. if you haven't seen but it. But not understanding how the deep and books, how yeah. serious it is, but getting into it. Let me let me read this um, um, Bible verse, Psalm 11, verse 3. Who got the verse today? Yes. Not me. Psalm 11, <laughs> verse 3. Pastor, Mrs. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, cuz. Why are you guessing? Go ahead. Wait, or even call me oh. <laughs> Okay, Psalm 11, verse 3. <laughs> It says, if the foundations mm. are destroyed, I love that verse. What, what can, can the, the righteous, righteous do? do? Wow, wow, wow. You're getting into this thing we mm-hmm. call marriage. Yes, it's ma'am. not a joke. Yes, ma'am. It is nothing to play with. Mm-hmm. You go into it without fortifying yourself. Mm-hmm. You go into it without preparing yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't do marriage counseling. Mm-hmm. You don't educate yourself. Mm-hmm. And you think it's just something to just do. Yes. You know, going for the hype. Yes. You know, everybody's getting married. Everybody's mm-hmm. doing weddings. Mm-hmm. I want to do, even not fair. You know, I want to, yeah, I want to get to, on Bella Niger. I want to, I want my picture and my videos to get on Bella Niger. You know, I want to just, to pop. I want to just pop. I want to, <laughs> I want my videos, I want my videos to go viral. That's why I'm doing <laughs> Video, video, video has gone viral. Finish now. Now what? what? Exactly. Yeah. Now. Now what? what? Mm-hmm. Not understanding the purpose, the kingdom, kingdom purpose, purpose of marriage, of marriage is yeah. very, very serious. So going into marriage without getting the kingdom foundation, understanding the kingdom purpose, and just doing it just because you're waking up with the next to this person every single day. Yeah. You know, it's not supposed to be miserable Mm-mm. or boring mm-hmm. or sad you're mm-hmm. supposed to be excited like every single day i thank god for my marriage and i thank god for my husband and i's relationship mm-hmm. because we enlist god in it every single day every day and it shows because every single day we act like we just met yesterday yeah literally cameras off and everything you can you see it in our kids because they really reflect us mm-hmm. we we're really best friends and it shows every day that the love of god is in it because we've gotten to the point of understanding the kingdom purpose, purpose. of marriage so we're intentionally tending and keeping it keeping every it. single day yeah and that's so t- i love i love the fact that you said that because till today people when they hear that we've been together as long as we've been together and even strangers when strangers see us outside they're like oh love bird you know give it time you know you know right. in a year or two you guys right. won't be all up on each other like this anymore and then well, we tell then them <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we tell them how long we've been together yeah, how long we've been like, married they're like whoa oh. okay <laughs> right because we intentionally yes. with the help of the Holy Spirit 
keep the flame yes. alive. And just to quickly add to that, you have mm-hmm. to understand something. Whatever brought you guys together is what will sustain you. Yes. You have to understand that. Mm-hmm. If God brought you together, God, God will sustain, sustain you. Absolutely. If lies, you know, lying to each other, mistrust is what brought you guys together, mm-hmm. that's what will sustain you unless you enlist the help of God. Yes. And it even goes back to so many things like where we meet, the kind of circle we have, mm. our friendship, mm. and all this, things like that. Whatever philosophy, whatever mentality we came we in together, that, yeah, we built our marriage together, on. is what will sustain unless yeah. you enlist the help of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so important. Anyways, so finally, on today's episode, the last point we're covering on what causes... Um, a relationship or a marriage to go from a romantic relationship or marriage to a roommate roommate relationship is misplaced priority. Mm, That's a good one. Misplaced priority. Yeah. You are focused on mundane things. Mm. Things that don't really matter. Yes. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you what matters and what doesn't. Because for everyone, it's different. It's different. That's true. But don't let us be so distracted by the mundane. By the things that will not matter 5, 10, 15 years from now. Don't let us be focused on the things that wouldn't really matter when it comes down to the sustenance of your home. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you may be thinking that you're doing this one thing for this person and then your marriage is suffering for it. For it, exactly. And then when they leave and it's like, oh, but I was doing it for you. But yeah, but you never paid attention to me. Exactly. It's almost like I was in this marriage by myself. Exactly. What, why, why am I wasting my time for? Yeah, yeah. Right? So let's not misplace our priority. Yeah. Let's stay focused on ourselves, on each other and build together. And whenever we're getting off track, Let's be wise enough to yeah. bring ourselves back on track and say, ah, we've been working a little too much and we're not even paying attention to each other. Yeah. We've been going here and going there too much. We're not even paying attention to that. We've been fighting a little too much over this matter. We're not even paying attention yeah. to each other. We've been worrying too much about this other matter. We're not even paying attention to each other anymore yeah. because at the end of the day, we're doing life together. together. Exactly. It should be beautiful. It should be sweet. If it's not sweet anymore, Simply because you have your priorities a little off. Please, come yeah. back. Come and, back. And, and your marriage will thank you for and it. And sometimes you see some things like this happen when kids start to come in the picture. Mm-hmm. You get so, you know, overwhelmed with raising a family. You know, it could be positive. Kids, it could be it could, negative. Yeah, yeah, it could be positive, Job, negative. a business, business, ministry, exactly. Those whatever, you know. Those are also babies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's you also know? kids, but... A, a, a family member, a yes. mother comes to your home and starts to I live with you. A father comes and starts to live with you. The bottom line yeah. is, at the end of the day, you have to always remember mm-hmm. that those things will come and, and they will move on with their life. Exactly. And it's going to be you and your spouse. And God. And God. So God, number one, number one priority. Mm-hmm. Number two is each other. Mm-hmm. Then you can start putting yeah. priorities in place. Yeah. But let's not lose track of the fact that it's me and you forever. Mm-hmm. And all the things that we're talking about that we're, we're doing that's maybe taking our time over, we could do it together. Together. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. 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 And, and again, it, I just want to balance that very, very quickly. Sure. Doing it together. Let's not get too... Let's, because misplaced priority can be done together too. That's true. You can both have misplaced priority. Yes. Right? Yes. We can both be power couples building together right. and we're neglecting each other each other because of that one thing that we're That's trying to focus point. on so That's a good point. let's prioritize yeah 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 and the number one priority is god number two is each, each other, other the relationship and then everything, the, the relationship marriage, yes yeah. the keeping alive because you can be doing everything together but not tending to exactly. that romance yep. relationship amen you're right you're right <laughs> amen all right so that's all we have for today. Yes. We're going to talk next week about how to fix all these things. We talked last week about what it is, what it looks like when you've gone from roommate to rom- uh, from romance to, to roommate. roommate. Now, today, we've talked about what possible causes, causes yes. of such a thing. So, if you're seeing this in your relationship right now, purposeful relationship, that is, begin working on them right now. Yes. And if you're already seeing this in your marriage, come together, sit down, have a conversation and say, 
Do we have these things in us? Do you feel like you're in a roommate more than a romantic yeah. relationship? Is there something that I can do to help fix this thing so that we can both have a more beautiful, a more fulfilling yeah. relationship? And then we can start talking about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And then and next gonna, week, yes, go we're for gonna, it. We're going <laughs> <we're gonna laughs> to talk about how to fix it because we're all about building. Yes. We're all about building kingdom relationships. relationships. We're not here to break down and no, knock down. No, we no. know that there are issues in relationships, mm -hmm. but we care more about yep. fixing it. So yep. we're going to talk about how to fix it. Yep. We'll not just talk about the problem. We'll also give you solutions. Solution. And that's all we have for today. I hope we've shared a tip or two to help solidify your kingdom union with self, with others, and with, with God, God today. Okay. Don't forget to share, to like, to subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, be the light. Be the salt. And remember, all, all things, things are, are possible, possible if, if you, you believe. believe.